You guys have been constantly asking for an update video on a mobile app that's made my client over $100,000 per year in profit. Well, my friends, I'm glad to say after months and months of constant iteration on this mobile app and back and forth with the customer, it is finally done and they've started to implement it in their business and they're absolutely loving it. In this video, I want to give you a walkthrough on the mobile app and show you how intuitive and effective it is within the day-to-day -day business. I also want to share the most effective tool to use to create this app. Then I want to give you a breakdown of the developer process so you can do the same thing for yourself or maybe for your own client. And for those of you that stay until the end, I've got a golden opportunity that I think it's untapped and not many people are talking about that you can take advantage of for your own AI automation agency. Now, if you're new here, I've made three videos detailing every part of the journey from how I met the client to how I interviewed the client and extracted the most important information so I could provide as much value as possible to the client. So if you want more context on the whole situation, I suggest you watch these three videos before going any further. And if you don't have time to watch all those videos, don't worry, I've got you covered. Here's a quick recap on the whole situation. This is the problem a client was facing before. Um, the problem we're currently facing is obviously across that, you've got documentation set for each driver and each truck. Mm -hmm. On top of that, we're running, you know, we're, working, we're operating amongst four to five other companies, each one having their own system. So at the end of the day, we've got two people in the office. Our drivers are coming through, they're putting in their documents, they're, you know, doing everything. But the problem we're facing is our office workers, which are our two most valuable people, are currently, you know, they're putting in hours and hours every day. We're running behind on invoices, documents are being lost, drivers are, you know, it's an extra responsibility for them. Now here's the solution we created to fix this problem. So what I did was I went into ChatGPT and explained the whole scenario from start to finish, step by step, not leaving a single detail out. And I asked her for the following three things. First up, I wanted it to give me a general overview of the automation we could create for this system. Second, I asked ChatGPT to define what this system actually is, so I could do more research on creating a solution. And the third thing that I was looking for are the best tools that I can use to create this system as efficiently as possible. And here's what it came back to me with. The system I'm after is called a trucking management system, also known as a TMS. The tools required are Airtable, Twilio, and Zapier. And it also gives an outline of how everything connects. I'm going to use Twilio for the messaging, Airtable to hold all the data, and Zapier to make the connection between the two software. Okay, now that you're all caught up, let's talk about the development process. As discussed with the previous video, we decided to go with Flutterflow. It's a low-code platform that makes creating a mobile apps or even web apps much, much, much easier. Option one is learn how to use the platform and create the mobile app myself. Or option two, I could find a developer that has years and years experience in Flutterflow and I'll get this job done much more effective and much quicker than I would ever get it done. Me being a wise man, I've chosen option two because it gives me more leverage. You know, I'm a big fan of leverage. Now I'm going to give a quick shout out to a friend of mine. His name's Michael. I found him in the Discord community. He helped me a lot when it came to finding the developer and onboarding the developer. So shout out to you, Michael. You're a legend. Now hiring a developer may sound simple. You think that you find them, tell them what to do and they just get it done. No, 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 my friends. It's much more complicated than you think. Much, much, much more complicated than you think. And it's crucial that you get this part done correctly. There are two things I needed to focus on when hiring a developer to make sure that I get the job done correctly. The first being I need to have a deep understanding of the problem my client is facing. Now we've done that. The second thing I needed to have was a basic understanding of mobile app creation. What goes into creating a mobile app? What makes the mobile app creation take longer? What type of features can be created and in what timeline can they be created? You need to at least have a basic understanding of how to create a mobile app, what goes into it, and just general development. Because it's important to use that basic information to communicate with the developer. Don't forget, these developers have no idea what the problem that the client's facing. You are the middleman between the client and the developer. If you're communicating effectively, if you don't understand the problem, and you understand how the mobile app creation works, mobile app development works, there's going to be a big miscommunication issue there. So that's when the onboarding process comes in handy when you look at to hire a developer. Now I'm going to make a separate video detail on the whole process of how I find, hire, and onboard the developers. Here's a quick sneak peek of what the onboarding document looks like. We have a section detail on the admin side of the app, another section detail on the driver side of the app, and a bunch of other different things. I can't stress how important it is to have this onboarding document before you start any development. Now, after many months of constant back and forth with the customer, refining the mobile app the way they want it, 
so that it's effective in the day-to-day use and it's not wasting their time. I'm excited to show you what we've come up with. Enough said, let's get into it. Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you all the features of the mobile app. And then at the end, after showing you all the features, I want to give you a walkthrough of the whole process the admin goes through when creating a particular job and assigning a driver to a certain job. I'm going to show you how it was before compared to how it is now and how smooth and easy the process is for my for the customer. As you can see, as soon as we log in, this is the admin part of the app. It says, hello, admin, and the name. The name we've got is Moody Test 2, right? Because you got to test the mobile app. So when you come in, they have two options, today's jobs and jobs assigned. If we look at today's jobs, it's the, over here, there's a carousel of all the jobs they have scheduled for today, right? And over here, we have, and on job to assign, they have all the jobs that they've created, but we still need to assign a driver or a particular person to that job. So if we come in here and look at all the job details, it'll show you everything you need to know about that particular job, including who the driver is, when it was created, etc., etc. And I also wanted a chance to have a look at all the drivers in their system through the mobile app. So they can do that simply over here. So if you want to look at my, uh, if you want to look at, if you want to search for me as a driver, just search up Moody and it should come up right away, right? Moody test right over there. So that's that. And also I want to have it to be able to look at all the jobs they have coming up for tomorrow. So today's jobs over here and tomorrow's job, they click over this button over here and simply get all the information for that particular job. And I'm going to show you later in the video how they create a job and how very and how easy it is. That's that. And now if they want to assign a job, uh, assign a job to a particular person, they do the same thing over here, right? They're just quick access buttons. Everything just in one place. Now, this little truck icon over here, if we look at the bottom menu, it shows a list of all the trucks they have in their system, right? So maybe one driver could be driving a certain truck one day and a different truck another day. They need to be able to also track all the trucks they have by the license plate, right? And over here, this is very important for them. They have a list of all the dockets that are created for a particular job. So what a docket is essentially, once a job is created, it's a paper trail of all the jobs they've completed, all the deliveries they've made. And that's how they manage it through what we call a docket. It's basically like a form, right? So you can look at, they have an option to look at all the dockets, look at just today's dockets and uh, yesterday's dockets. They can filter that by week, by month, however they like. So once they click on a certain docket, it'll show them all the information for that particular job. It'll show them all the images, when it was done, uh, signatures, all that stuff. So that way everything is digitally tracked. Um, okay, cool. And now last but not least, they have a profile for the admin, um, just they can uh, change accordingly, right? Now, th now that being said, it's very simple and has only the important things that the customer needs for managing everything in their business, right? Everything can be accessed within one or two clicks. Now, as promised, I want to show you the whole process they go through when creating a particular job and assigning a driver and how that workflow actually is. So let's say a client comes to them and says, we need to track out a particular site to deliver this material uh, on this day, right? This is all they have to do. Or maybe they want 10 trucks to come in, right? This is all they have to do. Before, they'd have to send each driver an individual message about that particular job. And if they were to expand, they'll do hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of messages per day. That's inefficient. I don't like that. So we found a way to automate it within a mobile app. But once I want to create a job, they simply click this bottom icon over here. They put in the job number. Let's go one, two, three. Job text. Let's go YouTube test. Um, job site. Let's take it to the metaverse, right? <laughs> metaverse. Uh huh. Uh, rate. Why not? 10k per hour. Pocket change. Pocket change. 10k per hour. All right. Pick a date. I'm doing. I'm recording this on the 9th of November. I can simply. Okay. Now it's time to select a driver, right? So I'm going to choose a Moody test, but if I wanted to, I could choose as many drivers as I please, right? And keep in mind, I create this job once and it sends out a notification to all the drivers at the same time, right? But for the sake of this video, I only want to select myself as a driver. So Moody test, right? Select the company that they're working for. Um, and then this is a very important part, which is assigned status and driver finalized. This is very important because they don't usually know which driver is available until maybe a day before, right? So they have to still create the job and plan ahead, but maybe a day before, maybe a few hours before, whatever timeline they need, they can quickly come in and assign the drivers, right? So that this is why, um, let's just go for now, assigned, right? Um, and also driver finalized, yes. 
So let's create that job for today. Let's have a look at the driver side of this app and how they're managing everything as well. So now I'm in the driver's part of the app and as you can see, the job I created today with job number one, two, three is here. And also tomorrow's job shows over here, 999. So if we click on that job over here, you have all the information for that particular job. Now let's say for argument's sake, I've completed this job. All I have to do is come in here as a driver and click create docker so now i've made the delivery and now all i have to do is fill out this information to create a docker a paper trail a digital trail to prove that i completed this job right so let's say job number uh, docker number again let's go with one two three uh contract rate so you have three options by ton by load or hourly let's go hourly total amount let's say five hours right start date ninth and then you can also choose a time look how cool this is i could choose the time that i started so let's say I started, let's go 2 p.m., right? Awesome. So now it's got the 9th of November, 2 p.m. Then I put in if I had any breaks. Let's say we had a half an hour break. Uh, the end time of the job, 9th of November again, select. And maybe this one took us five hours to complete, right? Five hours, 2 to 7 p.m. Okay. If I have any comments, job was awesome in the metaverse right so i could quickly leave a comment on there the supervisor of uh, the particular job site elon musk is the supervisor of the metaverse so we use him and at the end i could put a quick signature bang so now i can add an image let me take a quick picture um allow while using the app turn around take a quick selfie and it's good to go so We'll use that. Okay, cool. Create the docket. And that is all. Bang. That is how simple it is. So before this, the driver had to fill out a manual docket, a manual form, and they give it in to my client. So what my client would have to do is manually put all that information from this docket into an Excel sheet. Now imagine doing 50 to 100 of these a day, and sometimes they don't fill out the right information. You have to follow up with them. There are so many things that go into this. It's, I can't believe how they'll operate in the business before. That's how this mobile app has simplified their whole process and the whole system has automated a lot of the mundane, boring work, allowing them to focus on getting more jobs, managing the workers more effectively, and growing the business. Ever since they've implemented this system, they've grown from 20 trucks to over 60 plus trucks, and they're continuously growing every single day. So that's all done for this mobile app, by the way. So I'm in the driver section. I can look at today's jobs, tomorrow's jobs, right? And as a driver, I can look at the history of all the jobs I completed before, right? So I click here, and it gives you all the information for that particular job. Again, I look at all the dockets, and I look at all the dockets that I've created, and also I have my profile as an option over here. So now, this is very important. I want to emphasize the point of why it's so important to have this type of system, to have everything digitally tracked. This particular client had a big, big, big issue when it came to payments. When you're dealing with government contracts, when you're dealing with big, big, big companies, you need to make sure everything is working in line with each other. Everything is working in sync. The information you're giving them is correct. It's important because if the drivers fill out the docket information correctly, then the data that my client puts into the invoices would also be correct and uniform. There's a transparency going on between my client and his own client. They've gone through a ton of headaches when it comes to invoicing correctly, managing the drivers, because if the drivers don't fill out these invoices correctly and if they put the wrong information in, that means they're going to fill out the invoice for the government contracts incorrectly and they won't be able to get paid on time. They actually had an issue where they had hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars held up and delayed because the invoicing wasn't done correctly. And that's a result of the drivers filling out the information incorrectly and just a mix up of the data. We've saved them over $100,000 in profit in bottom line from admin fees and their workers, but we're also saving them a crazy amount of money, an unrealized amount of gains when it comes to securing more jobs, not losing the contracts they already have, and freeing up their time to network more and get more of these contracts. So yes, we've made them over $100,000 in profit per year. That's just in admin fees and in employee fees. That's not considering everything else that this automation has unlocked their business to do. This was a major, major, major bottleneck for them. It was causing them to get delayed payments, potentially lose contracts. And now that we've created this mobile app for them, it's totally transforming their business. That's why I have so much passion for creating these mobile apps and automating processes and systems in businesses because I understand how frustrating it can be when you don't have things figured out, when, you don't, when everything's all over the place. By doing this type of AI automation, we're literally transforming the lives of these business owners. It's tough being a small business owner. It's tough managing a million things at once. Automating as much as possible in your business is the key. It's a goal. 
and that's what we are here for. Now, I want to keep things real with you. Creating this mobile app wasn't simple. It was a process. It was a constant back and forth of the customer. It took months and months of development. It took a lot of stress, a lot of headaches, and a lot of mental energy. I want to set the expectation that you can do this, but it's going to be hard. I want to make sure you're in line with reality. It's not going to be easy. You know what telling you, telling you chatbots are going to be easy, creating an app is going to be easy. They're just bullcrap, right? You can do this, but it's going to be a difficult road ahead. However, it's worth the reward. So this app we created now, the client and the drivers love it. It's making their lives a million times easier. They've even gone ahead and said that it's more effective, easy to use, and a better system than the type of system these multi-million dollar companies are using. I've talked to companies that are worth hundreds of millions with thousands and thousands of employees. They like the, the app that we created more than their systems or more than their apps. That is how effective it is for them. That is the result of constant iteration. That's a result of constantly listening to the customer and making sure we create the best possible product. Now, with all the hard work, clearly we've got a great product that makes an impact, helps the client, easy to use, and helps them transform their business. So what's stopping me now from selling this exact same mobile app to every single trucking company that has five to 10 trucks, minimum? What's stopping me from doing that? Nothing. I've created it the first time. We can sell this multiple, multiple, multiple times. The earning opportunity is endless. So yes, it's hard. But at the other end of that struggle is great, great opportunity and fortune to be made. I'm not saying I've made that yet. Hopefully I will, inshallah, with God's will. And I'll talk about that a client has actually referred us to multiple of his friends that have a similar business to what he's running. So system work for them. They recommend, they refer a friend. You get more clients, more work, more money to be made. It's an amazing feeling. So if you're at a point right now where you think, you're thinking of giving up or you're thinking maybe this just isn't working out, stick through it, keep working, find a solution. Don't give up. Because I promise you it was four months of pure stress, headaches before we got to this point. Now, okay, now I want to share the golden opportunity that I found in AI automation agencies that I think you guys can benefit from a lot. Okay, so if you watch any AAA videos and any influencer in the space, they'll all tell you, create a chatbot to get them in and then sell automations. I've got a greater idea. And that idea is exactly what I've shown you to have done in this series. What we did is we created an automation for free. We didn't charge them a single dollar. It took us so long to create the automation the way they need it and made sure it was effective for them. So we created the automation using Airtable, Twilio, and Zapier. From there, we figured out what works, what doesn't work. So the client was using that end-to-end -end automation we created for them. So once we created the automation, we solved the problem of managing the drivers. However, there was multiple issues that arose. The drivers were filling out the Docker forms correctly. They didn't have a system where they can access everything. The job was just being sent out to them via text message. And there was a few other things that just weren't working out for them, right? So we created automation, solved one problem. However, there were other problems that the client had that they wanted fixed. And they actually proposed to us that we create them a mobile app. And since we created the automation for them, a lot of the backend for the mobile app was already created, right? Through the Airtable, through the Zapier and all that stuff. So once it came time to create a mobile app, we we're putting a nice front end to make everything nice and smooth like I just showed you. So all the influencers in the AI automation agency space are telling you to create a chatbot to get your foot in the door as a lead magnet and then sell them on the automation that we just created. However, I want to go above and beyond. Just like Alex Lamozzi says, you provide an extreme amount of value and then the client will always have another problem. So I want to provide an extreme amount of value by creating the whole automation for free in Airtable. That's exactly what we did. We created the automation for them for free in Airtable. From there, they asked us to create them a mobile app and we charged them for the mobile app. So and you see where I'm going with this? Everyone's charging for these AI automations. You give that away if you want. You create it once, you can sell it multiple times. And then you make your money on a mobile app. When people see you created a mobile app for them, it's, it's like there's much more value in their eyes. And when there's much more value in the client's eyes, you can charge more. So my move would be create an automation for free and they see all the value you get from that automation. You don't even have to upsell that. They're going to most likely ask you to create a mobile app like a nice dashboard where they can manage everything. That's where the mobile app or web app comes in handy. I haven't seen anyone talk about this. I found this by coincidence while a client asking me to create the mobile app. I wasn't trying to upsell them. I was genuinely trying to provide value to them. And they asked us to create the mobile app. And I, saw, and I realized a lot of mobile app backend was created through the Airtable. Uh, like just the general functionality. Yes, we had to redo the whole mobile app. But the basic functionality of the mobile app was done via Airtable. And what we had to do was put a nice front end on it and link everything up together. So it's a win-win scenario. I think it's a multi-million dollar opportunity. Like you can create this mobile app for $10,000, $20,000, $30,000, 
It's a mobile app you're creating. Like people see more value in creating a mobile app than a simple Zapier integration. And for a business to say that they have their own mobile app for the internal operations is just amazing. That being said, you can actually create a whole mobile development agency out of this, right? I think there's a massive opportunity in companies creating customized mobile apps for their internal operations. The same way you create websites using Shopify and WordPress and it's so much easier, it's started to become like that with mobile apps. Mobile apps aren't as hard as they used to be to develop. So you could develop a mobile app for a few thousand dollars. It doesn't cost hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars to create a mobile app now. You can do it within 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 dollars. It's not as much as it used to be. And companies are more than willing to pay tens of thousands of dollars to create a mobile app for the internal operations if it saves them hundreds of thousands, sometimes even millions of dollars managing everything. So it's a no-brainer. And I'm definitely going to be making more videos on how I plan to capitalize on this great opportunity. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe. Bye for now.